Hey YouTube, this is Eric from Thump em Up Fishing, and today we're going to be making one of my favorite striper recipes. It's a uh, panko fried striper fillets, and it was actually given to me by Kerry Thorne, a sand bass trip with him that I did several years back. It's one of my favorite recipes, and it's amazing. So we're going to start off with half a cup of flour and one tablespoon of Tony Sacherets. We're going to mix that together and put it into one bowl. Then in the next thing, we're going to dredge it into some melted vanilla bean ice cream. So I just melted some vanilla bean ice cream, and we'll have it right here so it's readily available. And then in the third and final step, we'll be dipping it into some panko breadcrumbs and shaking it up. I have my four-year-old daughter, Samantha, here who will be doing the shaking and baking today. All right, so here are some fresh caught striper fillets. I just caught these from Lake Texoma yesterday. I've now mixed up one cup of Tony's, or I'm sorry, one cup of flour and two tablespoons of Tony's. Got my melted vanilla ice cream and I've got my panko. So we're gonna start out and just grab a couple of fillets and toss them into the flour mix. I just do these real easily in the flour mix uh, in a little plastic container. And that way we can just shake them up and not create much of a mess. So I'm going to put the lid on real quick and have my daughter shake them. And then I'll show you what it looks like when they're all shaken up. Okay, so now those fillets have been shaken up nicely. So I'm just going to take them out of the batter or out of the flour. Dip them into the ice cream. Get a little bit of ice cream on each piece of fish. And then take that and drain off most of the excess and then drop it into the panko. So what I try, to, try not to do is get too much ice cream uh, on the fish because it'll make the panko stick together and then you'll need a lot more panko to coat your fish. So again, just a little bit at a time. Um, I probably should have cut this one up into two pieces, but that's okay. Hold it, let the ice cream drain off and then drop it into the panko. And sweetie, you're going to help me shake up the fish in the panko, okay? You just No, let me do this, please. So my daughter, uh, one of the things we like to do, we like to fish together, but then this is just a fun way. She likes to do the shaking. So this is a fun way to get this all put together. Do that all by okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and finish putting flour on the rest, or I'm sorry, putting panko on the rest of the fish, and I'll take a picture when it's done to show you what it looks like. Say that again. That's so beautiful. That's so beautiful. All right, so here's our fish all nice and shaken up in the panko. Uh, Just going to so take it out beautiful. and set it on the plate. And this will be, if you get some that are stuck together, just take them out, dip them back in a panko. You just want a light coat so that when they fry up, they'll be nice and crispy brown. I start out with about half of a container full of panko, and then I just add more as uh, the panko gets used up. And again, I put, I try and just not put too much in there to keep it from getting all stuck together. So now I'm going to finish up the rest of the fish and put the plate together, and then we'll take them out and fry them. So one of the things that I do try and do when I clean my striper uh, is make sure there's no bloodline. So a striper normally has a bloodline. And what I've done, number one, when I actually fillet the fish, I'm going down the skin side. I try not to cut really, really close to the skin because if you do, you end up with some red meat. And that red meat has a little bit of a fishy flavor. Some people like fishy flavor. Here's an example. This has some of the red meat. So if I cut close to the skin, it'll capture this red meat, which has that fishy flavor. And if you like fish, then it's no big deal, but my family's not a huge fishy fish fan, so it's better for me if I cut that out. And then in between the fillets, you'll actually have a, a bloodline that goes through. It's a red line. If you grab one, each fillet and pull it one away from the red line and then grab the red line and pull it, you'll take out all the red meat, and essentially you'll end up with nice, clean, white fillets that really are amazing. Mm -hmm. This is probably one of my favorite fish, and my four-year-old loves this. She calls this, what do you call this, Pita? Fried fish. What kind of fried fish? Uh, yummy fried fish. Yummy. Okay, so this is what the fish looks like. It's been coated in panko, and it's ready to fry. We're actually going to fry each piece of fish. Generally, 
I do like three to four minutes, but you can tell it'll get to a crispy golden brown. And that's when you know it's ready. So this is what the final product looks like. We essentially fried each piece of fish for three to four minutes on each side, then turned the fish over and fried the other side until it was crispy golden brown. As you can see, it looks yummy and delicious.